All right, we're back. Andrew, I want to ask you about Connor Shearer. You got three years, three million per. Is that too much? And you have a problem with any of these contracts that were signed in this offseason so far? Well, you know, we talked, Will brought up how the Steelers would be without the $20 million cap it for Ben. And you look at the Penguins, without the big franchise goaltender, it allows them to have these arbitration or long-term situations with Sherry and Dumoulin, and the contracts don't seem um, so, so, so bad, so, so maybe uh, difficult long-term to absorb. But I do think either Sherry or a guy like Brian Russell get moved for a third-line center in the next month. That's my prediction. I like Bob's idea, what he brought up just before the break. You get Sherry under control for three years. It's relatively cheap. Three, uh, three mil per, and you dangle him out there for other teams. Say, here's a guy under control. Here's a guy that's definitely tradable. And then you bring in that third line center because I don't know if Carter Rowney's ready to undertake those dudes. Well, I mean, Pomp, you asked about any of the signings. I'll admit, when I saw the Dumoulin thing last Monday, I, I saw 4.1 million. I was like, I, I, my brain went to Schultz. I was like, that's okay, that sounds about right. Uh, and Schultz is going to end up getting more money. But I thought the Dumo thing was a little high. Uh, just you're paying for security. Look, he's a professional. He does his job. He, he plays every game. He doesn't get hurt. He allows uh, Latang to go out and kind of do his thing. But four million is a luxury. Hopefully, with the way it's structured, at the end of that contract, the cap is up. It's it's and it's the same percentage of the cap as it is now. I think it'll be fine. But that just on the surface, four million seems so like. So then, why do they move? Well, isn't he a guy though in Dumoulin who has played every playoff game the last two years? No, he's, he is dependable. Hand, he, I mean, he is dependable. But I just think. You know, I mean, remember what they, the arbitration number that they offered out to, uh, to Schultz was 1.95, and they gave Dumoulin double that. And I'm like, that's, that's absurd. I mean, it's a crazy, uh, crazy math there. Some alt alternate facts of the pens we're using to put those, those deals together. We're so. due for a break here, gentlemen. Thanks. We'll be back right after this on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.